parent does when this happens, even if they don't understand the excitement, they find a good book or something. No, no, no well, no, well, at some moment indeed later, I think when I was about nine already in Tashkent, my, my mother bought me a book about the Machiel Templis number figures, which I read understanding nothing. But there were some, some words at the beginning which impressed me, and there was in Russian introduction saying that mathematicians in the West, they believe they live in an ivory tower, and nobody can go there, and now these authors tell you how you can go there. Ah. What I remember, there is ivory tower, which I like the idea. <laughs> <laughs> you like the idea? I like the idea, ivory tower in mathematics, and this was a kind of strong idea all, all the time. In the mathematical ivory tower, you can hide there and just live in this kind of... Yeah, yeah. No, of course, I understood nothing there, almost nothing was written there mathematically. But not understanding didn't stop you from being interested. No, I, mean, I was not I, especially interested. But I read this book, uh, but basically I was interested by a concept of ivory tower. Okay. And this is, I think, a natural children instinct. They you know make building and, and run under on the table. Oh. And this was a continuation of that how I perceive it now. It's a basic instinct. You want to hide yourself to have a shelter, and this is an intellectual shelter. This is true for any many for a huge number of mathematicians. For many, many they want to hide in, in this tower. 